Hi there. Now for this question, just asking you to try and simplify this expression here. See if you can do it as well without a calculator. So give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, you can either fast forward just to check out your answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, there's more than one way of doing this. I'll just take you through the method I would use, but do experiment, okay? Now, with 16 to the power of 3 quarters, this means to take the fourth root of 16, and when you've done that, just cube your final answer. Now, when it comes to this, onto this next bracket here, what I'm going to do is just take the let's take the y terms first. I can see that y cubed divided by y, that's going to give me y squared. So we we'll just do that. We haven't got any z's in here apart from just the z squared on the top. So I'll put z squared there. And then I can see that the 4 will divide into the 12 three times. So we've really got a third here. 4 twelfths is a third. So I'll just put 3 underneath here. And then when it comes to the x's, we've got x squared divided by x cubed. That's going to leave me just with an x in the denominator. Okay, so we've got that. And all of this is to the power minus 2. Now let's deal with this fraction here. We'll take the top first of all. And for this, I'm going to take the power 12 here. And then this is going to be 3 to the power 12. So we just put 3 to the power 12. And then x to the power 3 quarters, all to the power 12. Remember, you just multiply 3 quarters with the 12. That's going to be x to the power 9. So we've got that, x to the power 9. And then for y to the power 2 thirds, all to the power 12. That's going to be 2 thirds times 12, which is going to be 8. So you're going to get y to the power Eight. Okay, so that's the top simplified. Now we'll just divide this all by what we get on the bottom. So for this one, we're going to have 9 to the power 4. So put 9 to the power 4 there. And then we've got x to the power minus 2 to the power 4. Multiply minus 2 with 4, and you've got x to the power minus 8. Then we've got y to the power 4. And then we've got z to the power 4. OK, so that simplifies that a bit. Next, let's start with the fourth root of 16 all cubed. So we've got the fourth root of 16 is going to be 2. And then if we cube that, that's going to be 8. Now for this bracket here, all to the power minus 2, I'm going to multiply the y squared here. We've got y squared to the power minus 2. So that's going to be 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. So you've got y to the power minus 4. Similarly, you've got z to the power minus 4. Now we've got the 3x all to the power minus 2 as well. So that is going to be... 3 to the power minus 2. And then we've got x to the power minus 2. OK, so we'll leave that alone now and we'll go to this one. And with this one, I can see that if I work with the 3s here, the 3 to the power 12, I don't really want to work out 9 to the power 4, but I can see that 9 is 3 squared. So I can think of that as 3 squared, and then that's to the power 4. So that's exactly the same as saying 9 to the power 4. And I should be able to do something cleaning this up in a moment. Now, as for the x's, here we've got x to the 9 divided by x to the minus 8. So I would subtract the powers. 9 minus minus 8 is going to give me x to the power 17 there. And for the y's, we've got y to the 8 divided by y to the 4. Subtract the powers and you've got y to the power 4 on top. And then you're left with z to the power 4 underneath here. 
All right, so put z to the power 4. Next, what are we going to have? Well, I'll leave the 8 there, and we'll leave the 3 to the minus 2 there as well. Let's just put a long line, I think. Put 3 to the minus 2 underneath there. Now, when it comes to the x's, what have we got? We've got x to the 17 here, and we've got an x to the minus 2 down here. So if I subtract the power, 17 minus minus 2 is going to be x to the power 19. So we've got x to the power 19 there. As for the y's, I can see that I've got y to the minus 4 multiplied with y to the 4. So adding the powers, minus 4, add 4 is 0. So you've got y to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So that's taking care of the y's. What about the z's now? Well, here we've got z to the minus 4 divided by z to the 4. So we can subtract the powers. Minus 4 minus another 4 is minus 8. So you've got z to the power minus 8. And we've also got 3 to the power 12 here. Let's just put that down there. 3 to the power 12. And underneath here, we've got 3 to the power 8. Remember, 2 times 4 there. 3 to the power 8. So let's see if we can clean this one up. I'm sure we're nearly there now. We've got 8 then. And I can see we can work with these 3's here. We've got 3 to the power 12 divided by 3 to the power 8, subtract those two, and you've got 3 to the power 4 on the top here. And then you could do 4 minus minus 2. So that's going to be 3 to the power 6. So you've got 8 times 3 to the power 6. And we've got the x to the power 19. And when it comes to z to the minus 8, remember that's 1 over z to the power 8. And if I multiply it with this, it's the same as putting the z to the power 8 in the denominator there. So it's just a question of 3 to the power 6, which is 729. And if you multiply it with the 8, you're going to end up with... 5832, 5832, multiplied by x to the power 19, and then that's all divided by z to the power 8. And there you have it.